So if you look closely there, you can see that couple holding hands. Kind of older couple, maybe in their 60s. Reverse back here, another couple holding hands. Couples always hold hands in Belarus. So I've noticed just how much romance there is around here. There's so much romance in Belarus. And this comes off in things like public affection, like holding hands and kissing. I see so many couples in Belarus that are kissing just in the cafe, in the university cafeteria the other day, there was two Belarusians just kissing like crazy. Uh, just in the middle of the day, during lunchtime, just pashing there. And it's like, that would never happen in Australia. And I really started to think about this and I'm comparing Australia because, yeah, Australia, England, Canada, America, yeah, they're a little bit different. But compared to the Slavs, they're not. They're kind of pretty similar, actually, in most of the things they do compared to Slavic culture. And I'm looking at Slavic culture and people in Belarus and I'm just seeing so much romance. I'm seeing this kind of courting, dating, getting to know, all this kind of stuff. And it doesn't really happen in the West. You don't really find this kind of level of dating going on quite so much. It can a little bit, but not so much in this kind of affection and touching and hugging and holding hands. So many times I see like an old babushka, idadushka, holding hands together. They're 80 years old. They can barely walk and they're still holding hands. My memories of my grandparents on both sides is mainly of them actually arguing. <laughs> arguing and that's it. So it's really interesting to see this kind of passion and romance and still very man-woman. You're the man, you're the woman, you do this, I do this, and it's all kind of lovey-dovey. This is what I notice. And one of the biggest differences, which is really quite surprising to me, is the giving of flowers. So here in Belarus, there is so much, uh, so many flower shops everywhere. And you constantly see girls walking down the street with flowers, men walking down the street with flowers because they're about to give them as a gift. If you go to a cafe or a restaurant, they have vases available to put the flowers into. You almost never see a flower shop in Australia. Almost never see them. We just like, don't give flowers. They haven't got that kind of romance thing going on at all. And in fact, if I went on a date in Australia and I showed up with you know, a dozen roses, the woman would be looking at me like, is this a joke? What did you bring this for? This is kind of weird. Uh, you're weird. What's this? What are you doing this for? This would be the attitude, right? And she'd tell her girlfriends, oh my God, this crazy guy showed up with flowers. So creepy. It's so weird. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, it's just some complaining bullshit. And my friends would tease me and I would tease me because it's so unusual. But here it's so normal. So Belarus really has this kind of slow, romantic dating that simply uh, in the West, we just don't really have this as much uh, anymore. Maybe we did in decades gone past, but certainly not now. And it's interesting experience to come from a Western country into a Slavic country and see how the dating differs.